we often talk about stepfathers. I know we had conversations about step parents, which is what the topic is going to be about tonight. I am curious uh, what you guys think about that, because there are a lot of talking points that circulate around where men should not be taking care of other men's children. But I'm taking a different spin with it because I'm going to play this clip for you guys that says otherwise, giving a little bit more appreciation to the step parents and how important uh, their role is when it comes to picking up the slack. So I do want to break this down. Let's do a little deep dive into it. On a thumbnail, I did have uh, P. Diddy and Quincy, which is not his son, but uh, from what I've been heard and reading, he's been taking care of him um, as he was his. Is that what you guys seen as well? Yeah. So, which uh, plays a huge role in developing um, a man. That short, son. Yeah. Specifically, yeah. Albert Brown. Yeah. So it seems like Diddy played a role in uh, contributing to developing this man to be the man he is now. So I am curious, again, to get you guys thoughts and views about it because it seems like some people may push, you shouldn't be taking care of other folks' kids, you know, like you're a good one. But is it a need for the step-parents? Have, have value out it. Let me go ahead and play this clip. That dad got a tattoo of my name on it. That's hard. Bro, I ain't no dumb kid. In my mind, it's like, I know he's my stepdad. Right. While we're driving to the field. Right. I know he's my stepdad, but he's doing it anyway. Mm. I know he's my stepdad, but he picked me up from school. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But he bringing me to the doctor. I broke my toe. He brought me to the doctor. Like, right. you ain't got to do this. Mm. I am not your responsibility. Mm. But by him showing me that, it's like, when I met her, I... Fell in love with her. Right. I like her. Right, right. Whatever she come with, that don't bother me. Mm -hmm. That don't bother me. And because it was so easy, and I remember my whole life being blessed with a stepdad, I'm like, first off, let me see how these little niggas. <laughs> but there were some dope little kids, man. I stuck around, man. All right. I want to say shout out to Quest, too. I know Quest sent this to me. He said somebody had D in him. And they wanted us to bring this up on King Talk. So Quest uh, couldn't make it today. Shout out to my brother. Um, hope we see you next week. Hope the family, everybody is good. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. A step parent is so much more than just a parent. What are you guys' thoughts? Well, I want to say this. Um, being a step parent is, is, is a beautiful thing. Um, I've dated uh, women who, who have or who, you know, who have children. And one of my, um, one of them, one of my most memorable step parent um, just situations was I dated a woman who had a daughter and a son. And he was like, they was in the neighborhood and they loved playing football, right? And they loved playing Madden, right? And I would play Madden with him. And then we end up being outside, you know, throwing the football. It got to the point where we out there running routes. I'm up here telling him to play and then somebody about to guard him. And I'm, we, you know, so we, we coming up with plays and everything. Next thing you know, I'm out there like running routes with, with other people. The whole next thing you know, it's like the whole neighborhood is out there playing football, you know, in the street. And it started off with just me and him, just me helping him. And his dad was in his life. And it was one time where we'll be throwing the football with each other. And if I dropped the ball or if he dropped the ball, I might, <laughs> I might say, Kendall, you suck. Just something funny, right? And if I dropped the ball, Aaron, you suck. And it was just our little thing to make each other better. For some reason, I don't know why, but his daddy took him to, um, uh, uh, you know, to the game, took him practice, practice or whatever. He went to a game, he played a game, and he was terrible in that game. And he literally looked at his dad, and his dad was like, you sucked out there, uh, Kendall. 
This boy went off on his dad and said, you don't have the right to tell me that I suck. And I'm like, wow, because I'm hearing this from, from the mom because she was there. And she asked him like afterwards, like, why did you say that? And, and you know, there's no indictment on him. I was just around more because I was dating his mom. He said, the only person that, that can tell me I suck is Aaron because he's, he's out here throwing a football with me. I was like, wow. But, but, but shout out to, to, to the family. They, they, they still got love for me. You know what I mean? But, um, golly, that, that right there had me like, wow. So that, that, that's a man. Yeah, bro, they ain't got no love for you, man. They cussing you out right now for telling this story, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, shout out, hold quick. on. Shout, shout out to that real quick. Uh, the, the daughter and the son, I just thought about it, both of them. They both personally, they, they both uh, hit me up on Facebook, both of them. They four years apart. The son invited me to his graduation. And then four years later, uh, was it this year or la last year? Last June, the daughter invited me to her graduation. I ain't been around them in like at least about five years, six years or something. She invited me to her graduation and I'm sitting next to him while we watching the sister graduate. So I just forgot, I, I had to throw her in there too. So th that, that, that was beautiful. I right, go ahead, Shannon. That was you were trying to talk. Yeah. Go ahead. Being a parent is a beautiful thing. But Mr. Lego, you said being a step parent, but you said you were dating his mom, right? So yeah, yeah, Lego, yeah, you, yeah. You wasn't a step parent. Oh, I, <laughs> yes, I was. I, I, I was dating her, but I looked at that as step parenting. Okay, let me tell you. So I it's married, different, but you know, no. Let me, let me so, so let me get. Let me, I, I married a woman with two kids. When I met her, her oldest was ten, and then her other child was eight. When I married her, they were thirteen and eleven. I became a stepfather legally, moved him into my home from their apartment. Tip. We talked earlier about the baby, please, baby, baby, please era, the simp era, and then the music today, and the women that you got back then versus the women you get today. Today, by and large, it's a bad deal. I took the deal. My father became a step parent. My sister is older. I'm okay. My father has five children, four boys, and then me. I'm the last one. My mother had a daughter. My parents met at a at a New Year's Eve party in 1970. My father tried to mack my mom down, took him till uh October of that year to finally go on a date with her. My mother had an eight-year-old, I mean, a six-year-old daughter at the time. They got together and they made me. So he had kids already. She had a daughter already. Then they made me. My father became a stepfather in 1972 when I was born. Back in the day, being a stepfather, becoming a stepfather was championed. You, there, there was it, 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 Women rolled out the red carpet for a man to come in and be the stepfather to her children. She, if that man, that guy that came in and said something, he had autonomy over her children that he didn't uh, make himself. Listen to him. That's your daddy now. Wait till your father gets home. The Brady Bunch. We, it was championed to be a stepfather back in the day. Because if you said something, your woman would say, listen to him. Because he, he the man of the house now. Listen to what he say. What he say, go. And that man took those kids in like their own, raised them as necessary. But today, and that's what I knew. That's all I knew. But today, today, brothers, 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 let me tell you, it's a bad deal. Not only will you have struggle getting your woman in line, 
for you to tell your children something that belongs to her, you ain't my daddy. And she be standing right behind him. You ain't the daddy. The, then the, the baby daddy come in and saying, don't tell my kids this, that, and the other. It's like, oh, my God. What? And I'm thinking, what, what happened to the days of when it was growing? You were champion to be a stepdad. Today, 2022, it's a bad deal. Now, if you can get you a woman who will give you full autonomy, regardless of the stepfather who ain't around, I mean, regardless of the real daddy who ain't around, and let you be the man that you need to be so you can control the four walls in your home and everything that goes on there is how you say go and what and they it, 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 they live here then this is how they rolls but it, you don't get that deal no more for some reason it's just not happening and it's not just me it's fraternity brother it's people that I talk to by and large that saying man this shit is ain't like it was back in 76 it ain't like it was back in 83 in 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 2000 15, 2020, 2022, you can't tell these kids nothing. You can't even buy nothing without going to act, calling their daddy saying, is it okay I get them a bike? I don't know. If you are, you feel safe with them riding the bike? I, I, I don't want, they got it. What kind of helmet? Oh, no, no. Don't get my son that. I'll get it for him. You got to, you deal with, it's the shit that you deal with today is different than yesterday. Yesteryear. So I hear what you're saying. Being a step parent is a is a beautiful. Being a parent is a beautiful thing. I'm a father. You guys, I think everybody up here is fathers. We know how parenting is a great thing, but being a step parent today, I wouldn't call it beautiful. And if you're dating somebody, you kind of a step boyfriend. But once you get into the trenches where you're legally bound to a motherfucker and they're living with you. And you have to feed them. It's one thing to take them to the ball game and root them on and all that. But once you feed them and you got to do homework with them and you got to raise them and you buying the next set of clothes that they just outgrew and you doing all these things. And then you turn around and don't have the authority to do a certain thing. That you be like, well, what do you do? This, this is what this is how we roll over here. Well, no, no. That, well, let me call his daddy and see what his daddy say. You be like, oh, hell no. It is a it's a bad deal, in my personal opinion. So I'll let you guys, I don't know if any other step five, official rip, married, con, uh, marriage, Shannon, married. And, it, and it's one of my best friends today, divorced, but still one of my best friends. And I, and even after the divorce, I bought, bought, bought the kids cars. <laughs> Ain't even my kids no more. I bought them because, because you end up loving these kids. The daddy mm -hmm. didn't buy one. I bought them a car because, you know, I watched them graduate now. She's 20 years old. But. If you don't have autonomy over them kids and you don't really get that like you used to 30, 20 years ago, it becomes it, it's, it's very it's you know, we talk about peace and that's what we're looking for. Boy, you want to talk about a, a, a very uneasy, unpeaceful, to a degree, hostile environment. Marry a woman with children, marry a woman, not date, not smash, marry a woman with children and the father's still around. And even though they don't get along romantically and they're co-parenting, let me know how that goes. It's not going to go like it did back in 85. Well, go ahead. Oh, I'm a step parent. Been one for 20 plus years and I'm cool with it. The truth of the matter is let's, let's, let's analyze why, why doesn't it work? That's the question. Why is it a bad deal? Because ain't none of these babies asked to be here. And I'm so glad all of you upstanding citizens in the chat had a two family home with your mama and daddy. Raising you and your brothers and your sisters. Right? Because these babies didn't ask to be here. And when y'all sit and y'all come with this rhetoric of, oh, those not my kids, those kids grow up with the same problems and the same issues of the kids you knew that didn't have no pet parent in their life. Now, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. Shit, some of y'all own kids ain't for you. Facts. Some of y'all own kids ain't for you. Right? But what did you do to deserve not having a father in your life? What did your baby mothers do 
for your child to deserve not to have a, fa a, a, a father in their life. But let's examine why it don't work, though. Let's examine why it doesn't work. Right? One, and y'all heard me say this before, and I'll say it again. Women, if, woman, if you got a man that's willing to take on you and your children, you should worship him, worship him like Jesus. He is your own personal Jesus. He is saving your fucking life. Not just your life, but the life of your children. If you don't get that, you dump her. You dump her. Because just like everybody says and knows, this is not your responsibility. So, again, examining it. Why does it not go? Why is it a bad deal for a man? Because one, the women don't set the stage correctly for their children. Because you feel that you're owed something that you're not. You don't have to be like me, J Red. Be better than me. Take care of your kids, nigga. I read the chat. Right. I'm not saying this for everybody, but what I'm saying is this, bro. You shouldn't be disqualifying anybody if you don't know the entire ins and out of anybody's situation. Right. And again, who's going to raise these babies? Fuck your motherfucking feelings, nigga. Who going to raise these babies? The one y'all keep talking about, that's a, that's a skew, that's a ride, that don't have no leadership. You're supposed to be a man, right? Hell, you don't even mention no kids. When I say I raise kids, that's not mine. I include my wife's kids and kids in the neighborhood. Kids that had crack, crack heads for a mother that can come and stay at my house. Right. Kids who father who went in jail for drug dealing because nobody else would do it because you know why? I really care about my people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers really ain't shit. Y'all really just care about y'all and the perception of what y'all put out there. The very thing, the very thing that keep our culture going, y'all like fuck them. The very thing that keep our people in the population of our people going, oh, fuck them. Like I said before, y'all motherfuckers selfish. Just say it and shut the fuck up. All this sad talking and ass shit. Shut the fuck up, bro. You selfish. <laughs> 